Would you introduce yourself? Tell us your name and DOC number. Uh, my name is Jason Lee Figueroa, DOC 407-155. Merry Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, thank you. What was the DOC number again? It's 407-515. Okay, yes, that's right. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Figueroa, you're classified as a third felony offender. You're currently serving an 18-year sentence as a habitual offender for obstruction of justice. You were sentenced in St. Tammany on November 7, 2022. Your parole eligibility date <clears throat> has passed. It was August 14, 2023. You don't earn good time, so your full term date is February 14, 2037. Does all that sound right? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Your case has been assigned to Mrs. Jackson. Would you answer her questions? Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. God bless you this morning. How old are you, Mr. Figueroa? I'm 45. And you're serving an 18-year sentence for obstruction of justice. Is that correct? Uh, to be honest, it's attempt to obstruct, and uh, it's being appealed as we speak. I should have never been uh, sentenced. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and I show that you've been incarcerated approximately four years, seven months. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what are your two other prior convictions, Mr. Figueroa? Uh, second degree rape and Cardinal knowledge of a 16 year old. Are those your, your prior felony convictions? Oh, you're saying what yeah. I had before? Was, uh, yeah, you're a third felony offender counting the one you serve in time for. So that means you have uh, two, uh, you had a simple robbery. Oh, yes, ma'am. Simple robbery okay. and uh, distribution. Oh, distribution okay. charge. So, Ms. Figueroa, tell us what happened in the uh, attempted obstruction of justice. Ma'am, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. The, uh, tell the me TV. what happened. What happened in the attempted obstruction case? Oh, basically, I called my mom on the phone and I told my mom that I was incarcerated for an incident that I didn't do. And they say that I tried to obstruct justice and I was found not guilty for uh, obstruction of justice and found guilty of an attempt. Well, that's okay. Well, let me back up. There were uh, two uh runaway juveniles one 17 and one 16. you were in a photograph with both of those girls uh when the police asked you about the girls where they were what you knew about the girls you told them that you didn't know the girls and then when you were presented information about the photographs they had of you with those girls, then you said that you picked them up and drove them to Bourbon Street. Correct? Uh, no, ma'am. All I remember is giving them a ride somewhere. Well, no, sir. Did you tell the police that you knew nothing about either of those girls? Yes, ma'am. But when they showed you the photographs, then you said you dropped them off on Bourbon Street. Is that correct? Uh, I remember dropping them off in New Orleans. Ms. Figueroa, you can play games all you want. I'm not playing any games. I'm just telling you what I remember. Oh, you asked me questions that happened five years ago. That you dropped them off after they showed you photographs after you had denied even having seen or known them. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. At that point, you they want they were trying to find the girls because they were runaways. Their parents were worried, 
and they ask you to provide some additional information and you refuse to give them information. And then later, one of the girls was found in a motel room. And she told the police that you had provided uh, her with a number of drugs and that while uh, she was drugged, you raped her and that you were selling her to other men for them to have sex with her. And so as a consequence of that, you were you have pending charges of sex trafficking, second degree rape, and carnal knowledge. And those charges are set for trial on March the 3rd of next year. Is that correct? That you have those charges pending and they are set for trial on March the 3rd of next year. Yes, ma'am. I've been sitting in jail five years for charges I didn't commit. Uh, yeah. I don't turn, we had a, a DNA test and for the last past five years, I please did, consider- um, sir. Well, you're, you're reading you're reading a police report that's falsified and you're making me sound like I'm this monster. I didn't rape anybody. I didn't sell anybody for drugs and I never gave anybody no drugs. I gave somebody a ride from point A to point B and I've been punished for the last past five years guilty until proven innocent when there's proof that I'm innocent and when I go to court this this month or in February, they're gonna throw the charges out. This is not right. Good. That's when you deal with it. Right. That's when you deal I, with it. I mean, so I'm just it making well, me sound like I'm a monster sir. saying that I said this and sir. I said sir. You were convicted of obstruction of attempted obstruction of justice. You had a trial. A jury listened to the evidence. And they found attempted obstruction. They didn't find you not guilty. They found you guilty of a lesser offense. And you were sentenced to 18 years in prison. And you are here today for a parole. You are asking this board to grant you early release. And you are on mute. I'm sorry, ma'am. Can you hear us? We can hear you now. All right. We apologize. We don't know what's going on with the uh, technical difficulties. You but went yes, ma'am. Yes, you ma went to trial. You were found guilty of attempted obstruction, and you received an 18-year sentence. Correct? You were treated as a habitual offender, and you received an 18-year sentence. Is that yes, correct? Yes, ma'am. 18 years for a nonviolent charge. Correct. Again, why should we let you out of jail, Mr. Pickford? First of all, I learned my lesson. Never what again. What lesson did you learn? To just not give anybody a ride from point A to point B. Only thing you learned? And that my fall partner that was incarcerated with me, he was younger than me. I had my own construction company. He lived with me for a little while, and at the end of the day, I shouldn't mix my, 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 you know, I shouldn't allow people that work with me stay with me. I mean, five years in prison is a long time for something you didn't do, but I've learned that you can't trust anybody. You can't just show love to everybody. It's not right. Because this is what happens. You know, my mom used to tell me all the time, if you can't be nice to everybody, it bites you on the ass. Here I am five years later. I've learned my lesson. They said that I attempted to obstruct because I called my mom on the phone and I told her the truth about the matter, never hiding the matter. Figaro, that's not why you charged with obstruction. You charged with obstruction because when the police were looking for those girls, you at first deny even knowing them. 
And then they received information that you not only had picked them up, as you said, you had taken one of them to a motel. I've now, never taken anyone to no motel. Is that's what I, that's what the police report says. Uh, if you're asking me if I learned my lesson, I learned my lesson. Yes, man. No one know. deserves no one deserves 18 flat years for nonviolent crime. It's okay. not right. Okay, thank you. That's all I have. Corporal, is there anything you want to add uh, yeah. about Mr. Figueroa? Uh, while he's been incarcerated, he has not had a disciplinary record at all. Good. Good to yeah. hear. Thank you, sir. Mr. Figueroa, is there a brief statement you'd like to make before we vote? I was here for almost five years. Uh, for almost almost a year and a half, I was a tutor. Uh, all I do is try to help everyone in the dorm. I preach the word of Christ every day, prayer call every night. I always tell people to 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 do what's right when no one's looking. I'm 45 years old. Yes, I was incarcerated for attempt to obstruct, but the allegations that I'm fighting are all they're they're not they're fake. It's not. It was all made up. I, I pray every day for the victim. She said that things happened to her. That was not my fault. I'm begging y'all. My mom's about to pass away. So let me go home and be a grandpa to my kids and continue to live this life that I'm living for Jesus. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. We appreciate your remarks. Is the uh, panel prepared for that? Mrs. Jackson? Ms. Figueroa, um, I'm not sure what lessons you've learned, but I'm not, I'm not convinced that you've learned any. At all. You keep referring to this as a nonviolent offense, but you know, a 17 or 16 year old girl was subjected to uh, something that that person should not have been subjected to. Well, with all due respect, ma'am, I gave someone a ride, I never gave anyone any drugs. Aurora? Yes, ma'am. That's the question. She Finishing her vote. Mr. Figueroa, um, I don't think you're ready. Uh, I don't think you've had any programming that really addresses your underlying issues. Uh, you do have pending charges, and those are set for trial shortly. And so my vote today is to deny. Mr. Russia. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Figueroa, with offender was facing pending charges for child trafficking for sexual purposes. I'm not about to release you. Therefore, I'm going to deny your request. Mr. Figueroa, my vote is also to deny for the same reasons that's already been stated. So today, sorry, your parole's been denied. We wish you well. Good luck to you. Well, our business, I believe, at your facility. We're going to sign out at 947.